it's my opinion that if you if you want to create a bar that doesn't bridge the deep part of a horse's back in here, you have to locate the deepest part. It usually is about right here. And that's the end of the trapezius muscle where it lies on top of the latissimus dorsi muscle. So that's where I like to set the second wing. Okay, then I, I set the uh, saddle tech gauge on the pattern. And with the laminating fixture, I can pull these bars away from the horse's shoulder right at the tip and I can also flare the the wood away back here so it's my purpose is to try to put the weight of the load between there and here so I want the the load on an area about like that to right here I don't want to interfere with the tissue over the kidneys or the lateral action of the shoulders. And then the veneering process is to transform the saddle tech gauge into a laminator and I can put these on the exact shape of the horse. And then when I'm looking at it for the top view, I keep it attached on the two inner wings and then I can get back in here and make the cannel and make the fork. That would fit like about right there. The thread that runs through these is every time we make one, it seems to be better for all the horses you put it on, not just one particular horse only. It's just ordinarily all trees bridge their back here. And these trees are designed to set down on their back here and then raise up front and back. It only weighs about 10 pounds, uh, but then the weight of the stirrups and the cinches and the breastplate, you know, bring the, bring the weight up. But uh, as you see the saddle right here, it's about 12 and a half pounds. <laughs>